wish your team members would just be smarter, you know, work smarter. I used to wish for they would just do what I did. I told them what I did. I had great success. And I got so frustrated because they just wouldn't do what I did. It took a long time for me to figure out the key to what helping them be successful. The light bulb finally went off when I discovered that not everyone looks at the world through the same lens that I do. At Team Connections, we use DISC to put words to this. There really are four different styles that people um, show up as behavioral styles. And when I started to understand what those were and how I could talk to people in a way that was connected to their style instead of from mine, that everything seemed to change. So let's just do a quick review of the four and some basic things that you can do, some shifts to really make better connections and help them create their own personal success plans. Dominance are those of the people like me, the directors, take charge, get it done, move fast, outgoing, be very um, matter of fact. We're all about the facts. We're going to create a world and shape it to the way we think it should be. Focusing on results, always tasks. If you're working with someone like this, let them create their own plan. Let them be in charge. Recognize results. Don't talk a lot about feelings. And support them in creating very specific action plans. You have to kind of earn the right to share your knowledge with someone like this. They want to do it themselves. The influencer is the life of the party. They're that natural leader that everyone's drawn to. They're fast-paced, they're outgoing, they're people-oriented, they win people over easily to their ideas, they're high energy, they're fun. So when you're working with someone like this, make sure you let them talk it all out. They need to know that they are heard. And you want to acknowledge their feelings and recognize what their successes are. When you create, help them create a success strategy, Make sure that it focuses on their personal success as well as the, their team and their people. A steadiness person is slower paced. They're everybody's friend. They want to make sure that everybody's happy. They're kind of reserved and they really are all about people. Cooperation is important. They need to know that you support everyone on the team, not just the successful people. They don't want anyone left behind. They're very consistent. So when you're working with them, be calm, be sincere, um, show your support for them, for every person. Make sure that they know that you're in, everyone's included. And when they, you help them create their own personal success path, focus on how they can help other people. Conscientious people are slow-paced and reserved and matter-of-fact, and they are very detail-oriented. They're the researchers. They'll know every rule and every qualification for every trip, every comp plan. They, they want to make sure that they're competent, they're accurate, and they don't want to move until they have all the facts and they've really thought it through. So when you're working with a person like this, allow plenty of time for them to research, be patient, speak slower, allow them to have some silence to process and think before they respond. And when they, you create their success strategy, make sure that you analyze the data with them. They like to have a strategic plan and then help them focus on progress and process and not perfection. They often don't want to move until they have it all figured out. You know, success happens by a variety of paths. And as you, the leader, begin to recognize how each person's path, success path will be created uniquely to who they are and their behavioral style. You're going to find that they really connect to you. They're going to want to follow you because they're going to feel acknowledged and known. And pretty soon, everyone on your team will have their own personal plan for success and be working incredibly smarter.